conversion. A nice pick up of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Another catch for up there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up the first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Now Fields. Throwing over to the middle, but it's incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. To throw on second and ten. Fields. Well, oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. A shotgun snap, Fields. He wants it all for the end zone. And he's got Moody in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Jarnell Moody, 43 yards. And the Bears will extend their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. <laughs> Santos now to add the PAT. Fourteen nothing. offense here coming back out for their second drive and they're in a bind early here down 14 nothing are you worried at this stage or still too early you're worried you just try not to transmit it to the rest of your team you want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time you're wondering how are we going to move the football what do we have on this play sheet that can work get back to basics is usually your answer and make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. And still second quarter, you get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Second down, another shot for Jones. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a bat. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Down is Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score 
and cut into the lead. Rogers going to give this one to Dillon, and he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A.J. Dillon, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run, and the Packers are back within a score. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melting on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. They're going to run for with Jones. And he will get into the end zone, and a two-point conversion will cut this down to a six-point game. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game. The two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football, put the ball on the 15-yard line, or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they feel really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half. Time for pressure, and down he goes. Jair Alexander in for the corner to make the... 